quiz, all right? Let's say that you're a six foot eight multi millionaire streamer with a wife, kids, and a life that 90% of people would dream to have, all right? What would you do? A. Carry on streaming. B. Expand your career. C. Retire and focus on your family. Or D. Do a charity stream. If you answered with any of these, you're goddamn wrong. It's E. Talk to a minor and ruin your career. Hello, everybody. My name is Bamaud3, and I'm coming back with you guys with a crazy, absolutely insane video, guys. I am a little bit, little, little, little bit late to the party, guys. This is kind of a little old news, uh, around a month old now. But basically, we're gonna be talking about Doctor Disrespect and how Doctor Disrespect destroyed his career in the most stupid way possible. So if you guys don't know who Dr. Disrespect is, he was a multi-millionaire big streamer that was literally one of the OGs that was on YouTube way long ago. He started streaming on Twitch and he just would be this character that would wear a wig and glasses and look like a crazy person on stream and basically he was huge. One day, Dr. Disrespect got banned off Twitch just suddenly out of nowhere and th th this honestly was the craziest thing. The FBI, CIA, the NCIA is like everybody was trying to just cover it up. Nobody knew what happened. For all we knew, he was an alien, like mass crazy, like he was like a, a weapon of disaster or something like nobody knew what happened with Dr. Disrespect for years. Then a user by the name Cody Connors came out and tweeted on June 22nd, 2024, saying he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with the her at TwitchCon, the powers that can be read in plain text. Case closed gang. And when he sent this Twitter tweet, I, I was honestly, my mind was boggled because I couldn't believe that there was no way a guy who had everything in life and was just the biggest streamer. He was six foot, six foot eight. Wife and kids would do such a thing. So I honestly didn't take it too seriously until Dr. Disrespect started just tweeting random weird things. The first weird thing that Dr. Disrespect here tweet weird and the reason why I say weird is because he doesn't just come out and say no, I wasn't doing that right. And if somebody tells you, yo, you were talking to a 12 year old, you would just say, no, I wasn't. But here he says, in response to a different guy on Twitter called Jake Lucky, who was basically just saying that uh, Cody Connors is saying he talked to a minor, Dr. Disrespect says, Jake, seriously, I get it, man. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoings has been acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. Which was just a weird tweet because he was just, he never denied the accusations and that's when i was like okay maybe this guy is you know, a little bit guilty after this people were like yo why the hell are you saying this like weird shit to man what the hell is happening man why you just don't say you didn't do it and then dr this like says some more shit, weird shit he says listen guys i'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with twitch but i just need to say since this is the fucking internet i didn't do anything wrong all this has been probed and settled nothing illegal no wrongdoing was found and I was paid Elden Ring Monday. This guy basically didn't fully decline it. He says that nothing illegal and no wrongdoing was found. And then he tries to hide it with Elden Ring Monday at the bottom. This guy was trying to be sneaky but nobody was falling for it. And eventually Dr. Disrespect does admit it in a tweet saying the twitch ban guys hello i'd like to make a quick statement guys and let's cut the fog and bullshit man. As you know there's no filter with me man. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about and I'm always willing to accept responsibility which is why I'm here now. Now this is a weird thing to say guys because he didn't take responsibilities for years. He he had it hidden. He had Twitch hide it too. He had the CIA hide it, the FBI, everything was like nobody knew what happened. So this I don't really understand why he says he accepted responsibility now that somebody else said it. This would have never happened if Cody Connor never said anything. Anyway, let's carry on guys. So he says first and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. 
A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with the Mindless Society and I. We have been paid for this shit. So I'm just going to skip ahead because I don't care about this shit. He says in the next paragraph, Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned on Twitch. But for some reason, outside my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story, guys. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Hey, what the hell? Inappropriate? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This nigga is a fucking pedophile! This guy, he might be going too far now. But nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitrary blah blah blah. Basically he said that he basically declined that he did anything wrong and that he's not a, a PDF file. So that is how Dr. Disrespect destroyed his career. After this, nobody is going to pretty much watch him anymore. And it's just crazy that he did this when he had literally everything that anyone could give him. He was a rich, famous, he was six foot eight guys. Like all the short people right now, guys, we are, I'm not crying. All the short, all the short people, they are all crying, guys. He had everything. He had a wife, kids, and he threw it all away. To talk to a minor, guys. Absolutely insane. And I cannot believe this. Absolutely. I am devastated, guys. I am not devastated, actually. I don't give a shit, guys. But anyways, that's Dr. Disrespect. He is a stupid guy. Dumb guy. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nigga, you could have been out here fucking bitches. Or getting money. But no. You chose to be a perverted-ass light-skinned nigga. Your words cut deep. Deeper than any blade. Save that metaphorical shit for the 